Hello YouTube! <laughs> this is a response to the last video I made, uh, the comments actually. Um, <clears throat> I've got four pairs of boots here, hopefully you can see them all. Um, since I don't have a, um, uh, a holder or a tripod for my phone anymore, I still need to order one, I <laughs> keep forgetting. Um, hey, we have four boots here, they're all made by Patron. But I do want to first to get to the point, the first point, anyway, is why I contacted Roseanville. Um, I contacted him on Instagram like he requested on YouTube. On YouTube he said uh, he, he was requesting people to send him mock toe boots for his Mocktober. And he, he had requested that on YouTube and it's like, okay, heck, I have a mock toe boot that, uh, that doesn't actually fit, so I'll... Uh, contact him with pictures and all that just like he requested so i signed up for instagram was, yeah me i didn't have instagram so i signed up contact him sent him pictures and all that um <laughs> i don't know if you can see the cat but the <laughs> cat uh, joined us uh anyway uh i contacted roseanville he uh was very polite uh anyway he uh said that they did not meet his requirements um so it's fine like okay don't meet his requirements no problem and then we got into a discussion about um, the boots I uh, showed him the picture of looked like uh, Rock Rooster. And so we kind of got a little conversation about that. And I decided to make the picture, or the not the picture, but the video of, uh, of the comparing Rock Rooster to Patron to show that he was correct. Because he, he technically is correct. They do look similar. They do look very similar. Uh, so it was basically to say that he's right. You know, you're you're right. Here's why you're right. Here's the comparison. Here's a video saying that uh, comparing the two. Uh, <clears throat> and that was the whole reason for the video was to compare the two and tell him to show him that he's right. <laughs> that was my intention, but I don't think it came across that way. Um, so I apologize about that, but I did want to send him free of charge. You know, he wouldn't have to pay shipping. He wouldn't have to pay anything. I would just send him those boots. He would cut them in half and put them on his, put them on a video, and give his opinion, honest opinion about them. You know, because they'd probably be different than mine. Because <laughs> I, I, I respect his opinion. I value his opinion, and value his insight into the construction of boots, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, I did bring up uh, those other brand. Uh, it's actually pronounced cheetah because it's, it's a, uh, a it's not an um, that, that other brand that begins with G I forget how it's spelled but it's um, it's basically when I translated it to English it's it's cheetah <laughs> that other brand that the, was plastic and that fake <laughs> um, that I'll never buy um, anyway but I also kind of want to get into that was why I contacted Roseanneville okay guys yes don't fight <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know. Don't fight. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> uh, anyway, now I kind of want to get into how I ended up a patron in the first place. It was several months ago, probably even half a year ago, um, <clears throat> sometime in the spring of. of this year, the 2021, and I ended up with these boots. Hopefully, you can see them there. Uh, these are the first patron boot that I ended up with. I think they're fairly decent. Uh, they they still look new. I've actually worn them the most, and they still look decent. They have darkened up because I put some mink oil on them. Um, they were definitely lighter when I first got them. In fact, the if I remember right, the this color of the tongue was closer to this. It wasn't the same. It was closer. <laughs> he almost knocked the camera over um, <laughs> but yeah the, the, these are really nice um, obviously the welt is glued on you can see some uh, uh, hopefully you can see it in the camera there uh, where there's glue above the welt um, and, and yeah you can hopefully I can't see the camera so uh, but yeah it's like there's glue above the welt Hopefully you can see that in the camera. Uh, yeah, so that, that obviously the welt is glued on. It may even be a fake welt. I don't know for sure. Uh, I don't know if that's a real, real welt. It's obviously a plastic welt. 
I don't know what the sole is made out of, but it seems to be fairly durable. And there is a stitch in the well in the sole. It only goes, it's only covering the toe area. Because it only goes, if I can get the camera lined up. Um, yeah, it only goes from here to, to there. <clears throat> so the heel is, oh, oh, move the camera. Uh, the, the heel is obviously just glued on. But it looks like one solid piece. Um, and it is the, the patron brand. Like, uh, you can see the, hopefully you can see the branding there. Which is made in Mexico. Not in China, but ma Mexico. Um, I think that's why they're so cheap or inexpensive. <laughs> uh, but the inside is just fabric. Like, I know Rose Anvil doesn't like fabric lining. It is just a fabric lining. The, the whole inside is the fabric. <laughs> it's, it's basically just fabric. Um, but these were also 50 some dollars when I bought them and they're holding up fine. I mean, it's been a half a year now and I wear them the most and I've worn them for yeah, some, um, he heavy duty item, <laughs> heavy duty. I don't know, but some rough things. I've even mowed the lawn with them. So, which I know can be hard on shoes. Um, so that, th that's how I ended up with those. And those are the first pair I got. And you know the the this pair here, <laughs> the mock toe. Um, you, you, I've already done a whole video about those. Um, these seem to be a, a little bit better than the first ones uh, because it's in the in the inside. It's obviously the leather inside instead of the, the fabric. <clears throat> And I got two pairs of those, and I did mention that I had torn the the loop. You can see it there, the the pull tab there that is kind of ruined. Um, yes, I you know, that did happen. I think it was just maybe a flaw in the leather, and it didn't go all the way either. Um, and it's not on both of them. I mean, it's not even on both. The, this is the this is the other match to that pair and it's not doing it it's I can pull on that and it's not coming it's not breaking so this the pull tab on this the first ones is a little bit small so you can't get your finger in there there's no way you can get your finger in there but you just pull on it like this just pull on it like can I get the camera lined up <laughs> I don't see where the camera's at but um hey just pull on it um <clears throat> and these are the last, the newest pair that I bought. I've worn these a little bit too. These are cowboy style. Uh, these are, I can't see the camera, but these are cowboy style. Um, <laughs> I cannot see the camera. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I can't tell what, the, yeah, these are. I'm having trouble here because I, I need a <laughs> better setup. But anyway, these are cowboy style and these have a Vibram sole. And it's stitched. And this has a le real leather welt. <laughs> so they're the most expensive though. They're also $70. So yeah. But they're like these. Uh, these I'm the most, I'm impressed with the most because this is leather upper, leather welt, Vibram sole. <laughs> the only thing that I have an issue with on these is that this glue here, they glued a little bit too far. I don't know why they did that. Maybe it was, maybe it's part of the look, but the, the YouTube, uh, or not the YouTube, but the uh, uh, eBay uh, pictures didn't show that. So I have no idea why it's that way, but this is a Vibram sole. I do obviously wear these. Uh, these are very comfortable. Um, and then they have the stitch. On the bottom, it goes all the way to the welt. So there's a stitch holding the bottom on, holding the sole on that goes all the way to the welt. Um, <clears throat> that's unique to these, but these are also the more expensive ones. So I think you're getting a good deal. I personally, that's what I think. That's my personal opinion. Uh, the leather is probably a little thinner than, it's not really that thin. I mean, I don't have one of those caliper things or whatever uh, Roseanneville uses. These have not ripped at all. These are cowboy style, and they're the they're the patron brand. 
can't get that on the screen. So these I'm the most impressed with. But that's kind of how I ended up with them because I was it was a curiosity when I found them for thirty fifty some dollars, especially when I found the first pair. And I didn't buy them all at once. <clears throat> I bought them over. I can't, this is accumulated from a half a, over a half a year, around a half a year, starting sometime in the spring. <laughs> Um, and I just got curious because when these turned out to these first ones turned out to be fairly decent and not wearing out that quick for 50 some dollars um, there obviously are issues but for 50 some dollars you're you're getting a good value especially that this is real leather I mean it's, it's not very thick leather but it it's it's leather it's real leather and the, the welt is maybe fake, I don't know for sure. Uh, but it is glued on there. So the welt is glued on. But then the bottom, part of the bottom is, is sewn on. <clears throat> so there is some stitching holding the, the, the sole on. Um, so you're not just relying on the glue, except for the heel maybe. So I... I personally think they're really good now these um, yeah so I think they're good these have a different uh, sole on them compared to the ones that were in the last video I don't know what the sole is made out of but they're the they're the mock toe I just don't know what the sole is made out of I didn't realize how different they were <laughs> the ones in the last video I know the sole was different you know it's a different material but I didn't realize the upper was that different when I put them side by side it's like oh they're actually more different than I thought and they're not this one is not changing color even though I've actually worn it more so I don't know what the deal is with the one changing color because I think my guess is that because they're too small this leather is being stretched out more I, I that's a guess because these are not doing that so that's uh, my video, I guess.